All right, we're going to talk about why Steak and Shake is literally desperate to have you buy one of their franchise locations and become a franchisee. All right, check out the requirements and everything. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over the pros and cons a little bit later, so you want to stick around for that. Then we're also going to go over an alternative for franchising with no overhead whatsoever and full profit. So you definitely want to stick around for that. So why do I say Steak and Shake is desperate? Let's come over here. I was researching the Crumble Cookies franchise, and this is when I found this. Now, a while back, I saw the Franchise City video talking about the pros and cons of owning a uh, Steak and Shake franchise and why it's so low to get in at 10,000. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we're going to look at the requirements before we look at the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay, so financial requirements and fees. As mentioned, you technically do not own the Steak and Shake franchise unit outright. So this is where they trick uh, want to be entrepreneurs by making them seem as if they are uh, entrepreneurs, but technically you're just a worker because you have to stay there. You can't have any other obligations. You can't work anywhere else. Okay, so um, you just get a portion of it. The benefit to this structure, however, is that you only need to invest 10000 into the opening of your outlet. So they're considering the fact that you might be low on funds, but if you're not low on funds, then this could be a disadvantage, guys. All right, so it says these numbers only give you a general idea of what you need to start the franchise and may not include all of the additional costs. So check this out. Okay, so the liquid capital that you're going to need right here is about 10,500 net worth, 10,000 royalty fee, 5.5%. All right, so estimated initial investment is around this right here, 672,000 bucks or more. Okay, so here's a more detailed breakdown of the cost and fees required to partner up. I'm gonna come down here. So the initial franchise fee will be somewhere on the low end of 25,000 to 40,000, working capital 15,000 to 20,000. So we're gonna come down here, the type of fees or the royalty fee, 5.5%. If you don't know what that is, I'll go over that in a minute. So keep watching. Here's a breakdown of the Steak and Shake fees. So the average sales annually, these are the average sales per year, average sales and revenue changes each year depending on local demand. So if you have a sucky location, see this is, this is why it's dangerous, guys, because if you have a sucky location, it doesn't guarantee this. They're counting on you looking at this number right here. But if you don't have a good uh, location and then if your online marketing isn't good enough to get people to come down dead end streets, then you're going like, to you're going to lose money. OK, so it says the cost of labor, maintenance costs, advertising. You have to pay your own advertising, commercial lease rates and other unique variables. However, it's estimated that the company makes a total of almost a billion a year. Um, you know, we're, you know, worldwide. Okay. So Steak and Shake consists of 415 company owned outlets and 201 franchise outlets. So they're trying to put it all on you. They want to make this number bigger, the, uh, where the franchise outlets are. Okay. So total unit 600 plus, we're going to come down here. You don't care about this. Probably you don't. I don't think you do. So we're going to go into the advantages, guys. We're going to check out the advantage. So it's not a total downer to own a Steak and Shake, but we need to know, is it worth it? All right. So the advantages of Steak and Shake, the popular Midwestern focused restaurant has a lot of benefits. One of the most important benefits to franchising is that the company has withstood all types of economic uh, circumstances without fail. This is not the first time the Steak and Shake is going through it. Okay. The first time that they had to like be so desperate to really like be advertising to get franchisees. Okay. So it's not the first time. So that's a good thing. They stand through it. All right. But Steak and Shake grew from 268 million in sales to 548 million in sales, even during the recession of 2008. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I remember that. Okay, so with over 600 units already established in the 20 states, there is still potential to develop in other states. So that's good. So you won't have too much competition depending on what state you go in. All right, the franchise has a loyal following. Yeah, because those shakes are good as hell. Primarily in the Midwestern United States. It is a mid-scale casual dining option, ideal for middle-class families looking for a great meal together. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so financially you'll receive 50% 
of the restaurant profits as well as receive a guaranteed $100,000 minimum salary your first year. So a lot of you guys are like, woo, that is awesome, man. So I'm guaranteed to get paid $100,000 my first year. I don't even have to go and get a doctor's degree or anything like that. Yeah, that's cool. But now we're going to jump down here. Uh, so here's the main advantages. Huge potential for growth. The loyal brand following. So meaning even that, even without advertising, it's a lot of people that will just walk in. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that will just walk in. Many franchises cannot guarantee such a significant income, yet Stake and Shake promises you'll reap these financial rewards despite only having $10,000 in liquid cash. So a lot of, they're looking for people with cheap minds, okay? So if you're like trying to get into business, but you don't have that much money or you're not trying to invest in that much money, they know that this is something that you'll be attracted to. But you guys got to read the fine print. Okay, so provided marketing and advertising. So I was wrong about that. So they're going to do the marketing and advertising for you, which is actually awesome. And guaranteed $100,000 salary your first year. So that seems like a no-brainer, but let's check out the challenges of Steak and Shake. Franchising. A potential challenge is the lack of the 100% ownership of the franchise. As a franchise partner, you are given 50% of the profits despite running 100% of the day-to-day -day operations. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You have to deal with all of the issues, all of the maintenance, all of the hiring, firing, all of the issues, man. Anything that happens with bad publicity, all of that stuff happens and it goes on you guys but you only get 50% of the profits. If you look at the financial requirements, however, you will see that the small investment fee could make up for the lack of total ownership among some operators. Well, I'm going to show you how having full ownership uh, without doing all of this responsibility and work is way better. So keep watching. Steak and Shake seems to be using uh, a similar approach to franchising as Chick-fil-A. After, after all, Chick-fil-A, a, a franchise doesn't actually own their business. The owners are actually the operators of the business. One of the requirements of becoming a Chick-fil-A partner is you'll need to actively operate the store you open and it can't be used as passive income, guys. So you're literally locked into this suck there, like a freaking corner store um, owner or something like that. That sucks. So none of the chilling on the yacht while is all making money for you. So I, would, I wouldn't really suggest these type of franchises, guys, but I'm going to show you an alternative. Let's come over here to the Godfather of Drop Servicing. Enjoy $500 to $7,000 days guaranteed with the same proven business models as Uber, DoorDash, Netflix, and Airbnb. So what's so special about that? These businesses, uh, these business models do not require you. For example, Uber is the biggest taxi company ever, rideshare company ever, but they don't own any vehicles. DoorDash is the biggest restaurant delivery company ever, but they own no restaurants. Netflix, the same thing own all the movies in the world, but they, well, they're just now creating their own originals. But at first they didn't. Airbnb is the biggest hotel hospitality franchise in the world, but don't own any properties. So we teach you these models to where you can own local businesses without actually having any overhead or anything. You don't have any overhead. You have full control over the marketing. You can automate it to where it's completely hands off and it doesn't cost all of what that's costing over there. We have the testimonials and everything. Here's the beginners uh, package right here, which is only $4.97 if you jump in today. I'm changing, I'm changing that price. And then this is the advanced mastermind right here, where it's only $2,500 to get in, where you will be owning businesses like a steak and shake, but you will be owning it from the outside, completely hands off. You will not have to do any of the work at all but you'll have full 100% ownership of it, guys. So this is where you want to go to the link under this video and make a move over here.